what's not to love about new makeup? Um, I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren if you're new here. And if you're not new, thank you so much for coming back. I oh, have been doing a little bit of shopping lately and um, I picked up some things and I wanted to try them out on camera. Now, some of these aren't brand new in the market, but they're brand new in my collection. Most of them are a little bit newer products. So I kind of wanted to, I don't know, try it out. I finally got my hands on the ColourPop Star Wars palette and I'm excited to use that. Uh, now you're probably thinking, wait, Lauren, isn't that a really old launch? And yes, there's been between five and 50 ColourPop launches since this one launched, but it's not actually an old launch. It just came out, what, two months ago maybe? So not old, I promise. We're gonna, we're gonna just play with it because I think it'll be fun. Um, we also have some stuff from House Labs. My local Sephora, well, one of my local Sephora's actually carries this in stock. I guess there's only about like 21 stores that are gonna be carrying this in the US, which is what it sounds like. So one of the stores near me carried it. I went in and I saw it and I'm like, oh, you know, I didn't think I'd like it as much as I did because honestly, the House Labs, their first launch, I was like, absolutely not. I'm not touching any of that. Um, but this one, it was gorgeous. Like everything looked beautiful. So I did pick some things up. We're going to try them. I also picked up the Kosas Revealer Skin Improving Foundation because I've heard such great things about this. Now, not a huge fan of Clean Beauty because I kind of feel like it's not a scam, but it's a little bit scammy because it's like the products are going to go bad super fast, right? So you have to buy more. So you're continuously buying more. I don't know. It, it just feels a little spish, you know, but we're going to try it because I'm curious. And I also picked up the new Poutsicle from Fenty Beauty. So we're going to try that. And uh, I got it in a very pretty pink color. Okay, I'll open that later. Um, <laughs> so we're going to try that on camera. And yeah, I'm so excited. Um, let's just get into it. This is just going to be like a fun get ready with me with new makeup and let's judge it video. You know, something something fun and easy. I'm gonna start by priming my eyes like I always do with the ABH primer. Just gonna put a little bit on there. Almost used up this little thing. Like this tube has lasted me so long. I am actually pretty impressed. Uh, Kitty will be joining us for part of the video. So say hi to Hunter. Harry. So I'm not gonna do swatches of this palette because it's not brand new. There have been so many people out there who have gotten this and swatched it, and they probably are gonna do it a lot better than me. <laughs> so if you are looking for swatches, they are out there for sure. But this is the palette. This is what we're gonna be working with today. Um, I know a lot of people did like one blue and one red look, which I kind of loved. I think that's cool. I like doing different looks on different eyes in the same look. Wait doing different eyeshadow on the same face. I'm gonna have to think of what I'm talking about, but <laughs> I like when people do dual eyeshadow looks. Um, but I don't think I'm gonna go into the blue or the red. It's, uh, I don't know, it's kind of a lazy day for me today. I wanna match my lemon shirt. So let's see, what are we gonna do? So first I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go into Starfighter and put that in my crease really fast. I have heard pretty good things about this collection. Like, it sounds like it performs pretty well. And if you can hear a jingling in the background, my kitty is just having a ball. So it's gonna do its thing. It's going a little crazy with this feather toy. Okay, this is, I feel like, I mean, browns aren't hard to do. Like, let's be honest, right? Like, it's easy to find a good brown from like any brand, but I honestly, I love ColourPop's like matte brown formula. I feel like it, they just always perform super well. If I ever need like, just like a neutral color to put in the crease or just anywhere, I will normally reach for one of my ColourPop palettes because I just like, their, their matte browns are so good. Trying to do kind of a lighter look, which I don't know if it's gonna be possible with this palette. I still have a lot of pretty dark colors that are calling my name, but we are gonna say no today. Maybe, maybe not, because I really like this Republic color. You know what? I'm, yeah, no, yeah, is that gonna match? I 
don't know if that's gonna match. I'm gonna go in with First Mate and I'm gonna just put that in my outer lid and I'm just gonna kind of buff that out there. Now, First Mate is like a sequin shade, so it's not like a true shimmer, it's just like a matte that has shimmers in it, which is not my favorite because I feel like the little glitter particles in it just tend to get all over the place. And yeah, I get a little bit of fallout with that color. But it's blending it out pretty nicely. It's a nice brown, a little bit of shimmer. Okay. I'm kind of speeding through this one just because, like, again, it's a little bit of an older ColourPop release. And I know if you're watching this, you've probably seen one or two reviews on this palette already. And I know you're like, okay, I've kind of kind of seen enough of that palette. Like, what about ColourPop's new 50 launches? Aren't you going to review those? God, no. Some of them are really cute, though. I think I'm going to be mentioning a few of them in my new makeup video. But I think I'm going to put it out next week where we're going to talk about some new makeup releases. Um, and ColourPop has a couple in there that I really like and I'm so tempted to get. But, God, we're trying to, we're trying to control ourselves. Okay, so Hyperdrive is a gorgeous color. It's very shifty, but I kind of want to go into Outer Rim. What a space pirate. Let's see what that looks like on the lid. I love when brands do like cool, like tie dye, like just mixed colors like that. I think it's really pretty. Um, but I never know how they're going to turn out on the eye. Oh, that's pretty. So I definitely dug into the blue quite a bit. It's pretty light. Let me. This is a super soft shadow, so I kind of think this might be like kind of one of their super shocks. It looks like it is. It's going on really nicely. Okay, we're going in with the finger again. Sometimes the finger just works best, guys. Okay. Definitely like a pretty tone down look for me. I feel like we need to put a hyperdrive somewhere, right? Look at that. It's gorgeous. I don't know if it's picking up the shift on camera, but I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna see how it goes with my finger. I'm gonna put it in the middle of my lid. Ooh, it's like greeny. That's pretty. Do I wanna put this all over my lid? I kinda wanna put it all over my lid. Oh, okay, why not? It is kind of like a topper shade anyways. Might as well put it all over. Ooh. Okay, that's fun. This is definitely a fun palette. That's a fun color. I love that Space Pirate is a super shock. I bet Outer Rim is a super shock too. Let's feel it. Yeah, that does feel like their super shock formula. So it's a pretty... Swatch that in like the worst place possible. <laughs> Let me just do one swatch. So it's like a super dark purple, gray purple, very pretty, very pretty. Okay, I like that quite a bit. I am going to add just like under my waterline. I'm gonna go into loyalty and just put that under my waterline. Cause again, not a neutral look it's definitely not a neutral look but it's neutral-ish right normally I would go in with just like a ton of color but feeling kind of neutral today okay I can't tell if I like it because I don't have eyeliner on and I swear like the look just never looks complete to me until I have eyeliner and mascara on my face so we are going to just quickly go in. This isn't a new product. I've talked about this one before. This is the Hindash Hero Line. Really like this liquid liner. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my face. Be right back. Liquid liner is on, perfect. I think I actually do wanna go back into the Star Wars palette. I think I'm gonna go into Rebel Princess. Looks like there's some pink glitter in there. Well, not glitter as in like glitter, pink shimmer. Um, <laughs> 
there. I don't put glitter on my eyes. That stuff is terrifying. But I think I'm gonna go in and just put that in the outer corner of my eye to give it a little bit of a pop. Okay, so I'm mostly getting just pink reflex. So let's actually go into Castle Run and put that pretty, pretty silver in the corner instead. I think that's gonna show up a little better. Oh my gosh, yeah. That is a gorgeous silver. Oh my gosh. Where have you been all my life, silver? Ooh, pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna fix my liner because I did get silver all over it. I think Rebel Princess is another one that's gonna be a good topper that doesn't quite have the legs to stand on its own, if you know what I mean. Okay, so yeah, Castle Run in the corner is so pretty. What a gorgeous silver. Okay, like this palette, I'm excited to play more with it. I think the problem I have with ColourPop is that everything is so affordable that I feel like I'm like, oh, well, I can just buy everything then. When it's like, okay, do you need everything? And I felt like with the Star Wars palette that I kind of needed it. I didn't need it, right? Like nobody needs it. But I just have like really good memories of like going and seeing Star Wars at the movie theaters. The extended versions. Did you know that the, what, four, five, and six have extended versions? Yeah, those were great. I saw those in the theater with my dad and my brother and we just had a blast. So I don't know, a little bit of nostalgia there. You know, they always get me with that. Um, okay, so next, I don't have mascara on, so I picked up the Kelly Ray Come Hell or High Water. Oh my god, I hate how they printed this. Look on the box. Come Hell or High Water Mascara. This is another clean oh, item, so we're gonna, I got the mini because I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna get the full size. I'm not gonna use the full size up in time. It's supposed to be like a tube mascara, right? So when you put it on, it like creates little tubes around your eyelashes and then it's really easy to come off. Um, so it says zero smudge and life proof. Hmm. Volumizes, curls and condition, easy roll off removal. So I think, 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 think that this is Tubi mascara and that's why I picked it up. I remember like back in the day uh, at Sephora, there was one brand that had a Tubi mascara before, like it was like really a thing. And I don't remember what the brand was. Like I can't remember to save my life it's not like a popular brand. It was like a, like a small brand that you probably haven't heard of before, but they had like the best Tubi mascara ever. I was absolutely obsessed with it and I would never take it off at night and it would always get in my eyes. So always take your makeup off. Um, okay, I'm really liking how this is going on actually, like quite a bit. Wow, it's like separating my eyelashes really nicely. I normally go in with two coats. This is two coats. Wow, that's really nice. It's not quite the same effect as my current favorite, which is the Mac Stack, but it's very similar. Like very dark, lifted, separated lashes. I like that. Very cool, okay. Uh, well, let's see how long it lasts. <laughs> Fingers crossed it doesn't go bad uh, before I can finish it up. I think I can finish this up, it's tiny. I actually just filmed a video about the new Odin's Eye collection. It is a Swedish brand, Lomon, I believe is how you say it. I think I said it wrong in my video, but <laughs> I just posted my review of some of what I picked up from that collection. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. Um, but one thing I picked up is their gel liners. And I've used it for a couple days now and it's been okay. Like with gel liners, I sometimes like have the issue where they just don't last in my waterline and they smudge off pretty quickly. So this one I haven't really had a problem with. I like it. It did come broken. A little tip was off, but I haven't had any breakage issues with it since. Okay, how do people do this on camera? I'm like so impressed. I, I keep it pretty low in its component so that I don't have any like further breakage issues. Yeah, I do like this gel liner so far. Like I've mentioned in a, a couple other videos, I just overall kind of prefer pencil liners. I like being able to sharpen it. Um, I just feel like it gives me more control over like how fine the point is. 
Um, and I do want to say I did experience some fallout with some of those ColourPop colors. So we're going to hopefully cover that up with concealer. That's all I wanted to do with my eyes right now. Let's move on to the rest of the face. So I did already prime my face. I used the Vitamin Enriched Face Base by Bobbi Brown. This is kind of my tried and true product. Like if I'm trying a new foundation, I like using this one quite a bit because I trust it. Um, and let's get into the Kosas Revealer Skin Improving Foundation. Love that it has SPF in it. That's always a plus for me. I got mine in very light neutral 110 and hopefully you're seeing that. Um, it was hard for me to decide what color would fit me. And looking at this, it's now looking a little light. I'm kind of in my summer color, which means I am that much darker. We're just gonna go in and we're gonna try it. If it's a little light, that's okay. Okay, it smells, it has a smell. It's not like a bad smell, but I don't like it. <laughs> Okay, almost every clean product that I've tried foundation-wise, okay, two, two products that I've tried that are foundations that are clean have had very weird smells to them. And this is one of them. This is a weird smell, I don't like it. But I will say, this is going on very nicely. I think this is one of those your skin but better sort of foundations. It says a clean skin improving medium coverage foundation, powerhouse treatment and SPF to reveal your best, most vibrant skin without feeling makeup-y. It's supposed to be make your skin look alive, brighter, hydrated, visibly plumped, soothed and protected. Oh, it's got hyaluronic acid in there. Squalane, peptides. Those are all things I recognize as things in skincare. I can't tell you what they do, but I know they're good for you, right? <laughs> okay, definitely got a little bit of a light color. I might have to pick up a darker one for the summer if I end up liking it. Medium coverage. Um, do I look like a ghost? <laughs> I feel like I kind of look like a ghost. Hmm, so far, I do like it. Again, your skin but better. Um, the, the smell that I smelled initially, it appears to be fading a little bit because it's pretty, it's pretty, ugh, I don't like that smell. I'm trying not to breathe as I put it on. I don't, I like can't even, it's almost like yeasty, like baked bread kind of, that's kind of what I'm smelling. I'm gonna be very interested to see how this wears throughout the day, but I actually really like how that looks on my skin. It's a little bit dewy, it's not overly mattifying, which don't get me wrong, I actually really like a good matte foundation. But this is, I think, I think this one's actually gonna be good for summer. Maybe, if I end up liking it. If it lasts more than a couple months. <laughs> hey, not bad. So next I picked up something that is not new, but I've been having such a love affair with Rare Beauty. I wanted to try out their concealer as well. So I have their Liquid Touch Brightening Concealer. I have mine in the color 130 Neutral. So let's pop this baby open. I just like their stick bronzer has just blown me away. It is so so good and i really like their liquid blushes too i think they did an amazing job with them um and it's also a brand where you know like obviously a celebrity created it selena gomez but it's a, one of those brands that i feel like she actually uses her own brand right like it actually represents her pretty well there's so many celebrity brands that are out there and you're like you don't use this do you <laughs> like you just want the money like i don't know if anyone is like truly interested in Ariana Grande's line, uh, REM Beauty, I know this is looking a little pink, um, but I just saw a video where she promotes it being in Ulta and she did not seem like super enthusiastic about it. And I'm like, okay, well, if you can't get excited about your own brand, like why am I supposed to be excited for it, right? Uh, but they actually came out with some new products. 
and it don't look too bad. So I might see if they're in Ulta just to look at them. I don't know if I'm gonna buy any. I don't think I will. I don't think that brand is really attracting me to it. Yeah, I'm definitely, <laughs> definitely wearing my winter colors today. Uh, even though it is like 90 degrees out and it is hot. Oh, okay, I like that. That went on really smoothly. It didn't settle into any of my fine lines. Again, around my eye area is where I'm always like the most concerned. So, I, cause I do have some fine lines around there and I don't want to ex accentuate that area at all. And it looks like it did a good job covering up my pores. The Kosas actually did do a pretty decent job adding some coverage, not full coverage. I mean, it's not saying it's cool, full coverage at all, um, but like little more than a skin tint's worth, I'd say, of coverage. And then, I mean, you can still see my pores. I'm just, the weather is so warm. I'm just very pory right now. Um, <laughs> so it's not a big deal. Hmm. Okay. Again, I feel like with concealer and foundation, it's always nice to do a first impression, but you never really know if you're gonna love it until you continue to use it and continue to use it with other things, right? But I like that so far. Okay, so next what I wanna do is I wanna set my face. And recently I have been loving the uh, setting powder from Fenty Beauty. I have it in the color Butter. So I actually ended up picking it up in the color Lavender as well because lavender is supposed to be brightening and I need some brightening in my life. So I I kind of wish it came in a baby size, like the butter powder came in a little baby size and it's kind of perfect because I have quite a few setting powders and I feel like it's, I'm just, you know, I'm never gonna use them all up. I'm trying, I'm trying. The Givenchy one has like a little dent in it. I can see the dent, it's there gonna go ahead and put that under my eyes Ooh, that like immediately kind of blurred things that was actually kind of cool okay just gonna like pat it down around my face a little bit just add some brightness especially where I have my concealer because I like to set my concealer like that Oh yes, okay, go Fenty. I'm a fan. That setting powder worked great. And I do feel like it added just a little bit of brightness to my face as well, so very exciting. Okay, so I'm gonna do my brows really fast and just get that out of the way before we move on to the House Lab products. Brows done, I didn't use anything new. I just went in with my ABH brow pencil and my Kosas setting gel. And yes, this used to be clear, but the problem is I use it over like the pencil when I do the pencil and it's made it so disgustingly dirty. This is probably a product where they shouldn't have made this clear component, which is cute. I really love the components for Kosas, but um, yeah, it now looks disgusting. So brows are done. Let's get into house labs and see how this stuff performs. Again, when I saw this at my local Sephora, I was actually really impressed. I feel like their shade range was very, very good. Like they had quite a few, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to rip this open. They had so many shades. It was actually hard for me to pick which one fit me best. And for the bronzer, I ended up going into light level two. So that is the one I went into. And even everything I saw from this relaunch, you know, like the components looked great. The colors were beautiful. Um, I didn't end up picking up anything else except one of the highlighters, one of the bronzers. But, you know, I am kind of tempted to pick up a couple more things. I think this, like the relaunch really represents Lady Gaga better than her initial launch. Like that was just kind of like, it just fell very flat. Okay, so this is the bronzer in light level two, the Power Sculpt Velvet Bronzer. So this is the one that I ended up picking up. And the component is super cool. It's got like, it's almost like, I don't know what this is, like faux leather feeling a little bit? No, not leather. I guess it's just plastic, but it feels nice. Like it's, it's got a little bit of weight to it as well, which is nice. And yeah, I don't know, I'm kind of nervous. Okay, I'm just gonna dip my brush into it, get some all over there. Okay, 
Okay. It's going on really nicely. And it's definitely helping warm up my face. It's definitely a warmer bronzer for sure, which is okay. I actually really like cool tone bronzers, but it's hard to find a bronzer that's in light and cool. But I do have kind of like more of a neutral undertone, so I don't mind wearing warm. This one's going on super nicely. I actually have a video coming up where I'm going to be comparing like five new bronzers that I picked up that have recently launched. So I'm really excited for that. Let's see. Okay, I think I need more on that side. Kind of swirling it into the bottom of my cheeks. And let's get under the chin a little bit. Give my face some definition. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. That went on so smoothly. With powder bronzers, I always get nervous that they're going to come out a little bit patchy. I've definitely used some patchy bronzers. And this came out really, really nice. Yeah. Okay, looks good. I think this was a really good color for me. Again, I got it in light level two. I think going any darker would have been way too dark on me. And the lightest one was just a little bit too light. So, so far I am enjoying this bronzer. First impression is I like. Okay, next, I don't have a new blush, but the highlighter that I picked up from House Labs, I picked it up in Rose Quartz, is very pinky. So I think this would be one of those products that would work as both a blush and a highlighter. So here is the component. It's very, very pretty. Actually matches my phone. And this is the Bio Radiant Gel Powder Highlighter. This is what the color looks like, very pretty. And let me just do a quick swatch for you. It's very pink. So it's definitely not just a highlighter, it's almost like much more of a blush on me, I feel. Okay, let's get in there. It's picking up nicely on my brush. I'm gonna kind of pat that in. It is super light. So, I mean, I you can definitely use a blush before going in with this, but it seems like if I layer it, it works very nicely as a blush as well. There were quite a few highlighters to pick from and I, you know, there were some that had some chunkier shimmers in them and that's kind of not my style. I don't love anything with chunky, chunky shimmers, but this is more of a like subtle glow. It doesn't have any big hunks of shimmer or glitter or even like small pieces. They are very, very small if they're in there because I can't even see. Okay putting those on the apples of my cheek. That's really pretty. I really like that. Oh my God, do I wanna pick up more from this line? Probably. Okay, so it's definitely very, very pink. It's honestly, I feel like this is more of a blush than a highlighter. I would call this a blush on my skin tone. And uh, it's got a little bit of glow on there, but it's not extremely glowy. It's not what I would call out of control glowy gonna put some on my nose. I know like that's the thing like some people like to put their blush on their nose and sometimes I'm like oh it just makes me look like my allergies are really bad. <laughs> yeah I okay so I am really liking what I'm seeing coming out of House Labs. I will say that these products were a little bit pricey. Um, I don't remember right off the top of my head how much they were. I'll put it on the screen but I remember when I bought these I was like "Ooh, okay do I want more than one? And ultimately I decided only to get one highlighter because of the price. I was like, I just, you know, I don't know if I need more than one right now, but there were so many absolutely gorgeous colors. I really like how this applied. I think it's gorgeous. And I'm actually very tempted to pick up one of the cooler toned highlighters that they had on there. Cause now I'm curious. I think 
so far I have really enjoyed everything that I've used. So yay, win. Okay, so last but not least, I have the Poutsicle from Fenty Beauty. I have mine in my type. It was my type, but it's my type. And I can't, oh. I was trying to pull it off and it's a twist off. So wow, go me. This is very pink. Is this gonna go with my look? Wow. Okay, it's very liquidy. Lipstick and especially liquid lipstick is another thing that I'm like, okay, that's really hard to do on camera. <laughs> So I went and cleaned it up a little bit, but it is already drying down. What I've seen out of the couple reviews that I've seen for this product is that it like will not go anywhere throughout the day. So I will be, I guess, wearing this all day, but again, it's drying down really, really nice. It's a really pretty color. I was a little worried it would be a little too pink for this look, but I actually really like it. This I think is a good summer look. Everything came together really nice. And again, it's drying down really nicely. It doesn't feel overly drying on my lips, like some liquid, what are they calling this? Are they calling it a liquid lip? Oh, they're calling it a hydrating lip stain. Interesting, okay. I like it, it's a really pretty color too. Okay, so let's do kind of like a final thought. So let's do a little bit of a breakdown. I actually enjoyed every single product I used. I think the standouts for me is I really liked the Fenty Beauty Lavender Setting Powder. I could see the difference as I was applying it to my face. I really liked the Cali Ray Come Hell or High Water Mascara. This was another one that I know I'll be using quite a bit in the future. Um, the Kosas one and the Rare Beauty Concealer are products that I'm just gonna have to continue using to see if I like them. I do like them. I've only used them once. I like them as much as I've used them. Uh, but it will be something that I'll have to continue to use in order to really get an idea of if it's something that I love. Um, but so far, I do like it. And the, let's see, the House Labs product. I am very impressed. I think that bronzer was a perfect color match for me. It was light enough for that it looks natural while brightening up my face. And that highlighter is absolutely gorgeous. So definitely would recommend checking it out if you were interested in any of the products. I may pick up one more highlighter from them um, because they did have some cool tone ones that were very, very beautiful. And um, yeah, I really, again, like I will be doing a video on all the different bronzers I've been trying. There's so many. Um, <laughs> and this one, I think it's probably going to rank pretty high because I like that look. I like how natural it looks. I like that finish. And it just went on really, really nicely. Um, the ColourPop, you know, eyeshadow palette, you don't need it, but it is good. It performed really well, so I'm glad that it did. And the Poutsicle from Fenty Beauty. I'm excited to see how this wears throughout the day, but it went on really nicely. It feels very hydrating, and it feels very natural. I'm excited to see how that wears throughout the day. So I... I'm super happy with all the products I picked up. That's definitely my goal. My goal isn't to just pick up things because it's new. It's to pick up things that will fit really well into what I already have in my collection and will be products that I love, right? I'm not going to buy a product that I know I'm going to hate. So I'm excited for all these products. I'm glad that I picked them up. I am super excited to continue getting some use out of them to seeing if they're going to turn out to be favorites. And yeah, I this was just, you know, like a fun little let's try some new stuff on uh, kind of video. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you are having an amazing week and I will see you in the next video. Bye.